hello guys welcome to tech economist and uh, in previous videos we have seen uh, how to import shape files and adding our excel file into the shape file and having some uh, uh, attributes uh, joining and uh, symbologies for graduate colors in this we will see how to place some of the uh, uh, text uh, effects and also the uh, scale and uh, uh, direction effects in this so for doing that you can go for insert and here you can find the lot of features in this you go for an art arrow and uh, in this various types of directions and designs will be provided here and if you uh, doesn't like any of those uh, directions you can go for more styles and import from uh, online and you can have it so if you choose any of these uh, directions uh, you just click ok and uh, the direction will be uh, available in your uh, map so uh, this is a simple and easiest way so and uh, if you if you want to uh, enlarge it you can do and uh, you can place it any anywhere you need it and if you if you click there and you can uh, resize it and uh, if you don't uh, you just give it up and uh, followed by that if you want to <coughs> add text you can go for a text see here you can see the text uh, <coughs> anything you can uh, do in uh, text and uh, similar way if you want to go, uh, give a specific uh, title for this um, a map you can go for a uh, title and you just place uh, any of that uh, title you needed and uh, okay so this will be placed here and if you want to change the font and style of this go for properties and in properties you can go for uh, Arial uh, you can change the font angle and uh, uh, what are the things regarding this you can go for here and this is one way and another uh, for uh, inserting the scale you go for scale bar so in the scale bar similar way uh, there are uh, given in miles kilometers and uh, what are the aspects you needed and if you need to change even this uh, miles to something else you can go for here and properties uh, if you need to change the divisions of units to uh, kilometers you can uh, divide and uh, labels uh, where it should be placed above or below you can go for after labels or before center right position so all these things you can go for here and if you need to enlarge the division units you can uh, increase your number of divisions and uh, subdivisions so uh, these kind of things you can go for here and uh, if you uh, if you are uh, satisfied with that you can just click and uh, you can place over here and similar way uh, the similar uh, text effect can be also be placed here so based on the scale bar you can uh, choose and uh, have some uh, uh, setting changes and uh, you can apply here and uh, it will also be placed over here so yeah uh, it is placed over here so the similar way uh, if you need to change the size uh, you can go for properties and do things and uh, uh, so another one is uh, for uh, if you uh, here we have given some graduate colors you want to uh, you want to define what are the colors and how uh, it is uh, classified so you can give uh, a legend wizard and uh, legend items to be placed over here I will show you here uh, before uh, that you just see how it uh, appears here and after that we will be uh, having some edit box here so that you can uh, quite easy for you so in this uh, if you want to change the title to range or something else and the color uh, what text color should be and size and font you apply here and uh, border background or uh, whatever uh, the designs you needed uh, you can give here and you want to place the legend item you just see and we will uh, move further so here it is uh, what is the name I have given is a uh, uh, range and the this is the subtitles and you if you want you can just uh, uh, change it so the title is given as range and uh, if you want legend item to be placed uh, yeah in this way if you need the legend item you can place it or else you can remove the legend item and uh, uh, you can proceed for so uh, if you need you can uh, give the uh, legend item or uh, you can remove it and uh, this is the simple way of uh, having your legend table so this is what you can uh, go for uh, in this uh, insert option and you can have a still lot uh, uh, is still lot of uh, things you can do and if you want to 
uh, place the date or time of the uh, map you have uh, designed you can uh, just give the dynamic text and in this various uh, coordinate systems and document name or uh, author uh, you want to uh, place it over the map you can give and a similar way if you have uh, some other uh, uh, so for example you have to place some page numbers or page counts and uh, something else you can uh, have in dynamic text and uh, similar way if you want to place any picture you can you can uh, give the picture and you uh, you just go for the pictures and uh, wherever the picture is located you just uh, import it the picture will be uh, will be loaded up here so for example I will uh, choose some pictures uh, uh, any pictures uh, for example uh, uh, if you want to place yeah here it is you can place your picture over uh, anywhere you need it and uh, so this is the simple uh, picture uh, text and uh, dynamic text and data frames uh, so this is all uh, you need to understand about the inset option and uh, things hope you have learned something in this video and thanks for watching the video please do subscribe for uh, uh, for upcoming videos and support us thank you